to your end of the October reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome, everybody. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are doing great during this Mercury retrograde. Hope it is treating you well. Okay, moving straight into your energy of what you're thinking and feeling and the energy surrounding you. Okay, Aries. What is going on, Aries, with you? tower coming up, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries. Um, and for a lot of you, I think you are dealing with a Scorpio because I just keep seeing the scorpion. Um, but I feel like this tower is more inspiring in the end than it is chaos, right? It's almost like we've been dealing with so much that it's almost... Like, I knew the tower was coming. I was kind of waiting for it. Um, because now I feel like I can move forward with my life is what I'm finding. So I'm, I'm really hearing this is more inspiring to you, Aries, than it is just chaos. Okay, so getting an oracle card to clarify on the tower. This oracle card's not only going to clarify on the tower, but the entire reading. It has a big job. Oh, they're just flying out at me. Power. Taking on some some Leo energy over here. Could you also be dealing with a Leo? Um, however it is, it's... I don't know, I feel this inspiration and this passion and this power coming back to you. Um, I just feel, yeah. It's almost like I'm going to take the power back and I'm going to take... it. The lead and the power in this in this tower. Hmm. Okay, getting straight into the situation. The situation is going to take place in the present, the near past, and the near future. Remember, all near future outcomes are not 100% due to um, will, right? Everybody has the will to do something else, self-will. Okay, so it's just the most likely outcome if you stay on this path. Okay. Clarify on. A little bit of mental conflict going on in your mind, though, with this tower. But you can see right through it. So, hmm. Are we doing some head games over here? Standing your ground in the in the near uh, the recent past and in the near future you have the financial material changes coming that's probably that inspiration to get where you need to be with patience and planning so patiently planning your own finances it's almost to the point where it's like i'm tired of these mental games that you're giving me i'm standing my ground and i'm you know what i'm tired of this i'm going to work i have work to do i'm more worried about my work right now i'm not playing with you anymore Kind of like a cat and mouse game going on over here. And the mouse is giving you mental conflict. Um, yeah. Standing your ground in the recent past over here. Aries, you're like, mm-hmm. Kind of a challenge. Are you protecting yourself? What are you doing over here? It seems like self-protection. From the Ten of Swords. I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting myself from you. Or this situation. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop talking to you. Where's the passion? You're not speaking passion to me, so I'm protecting myself and I'm putting myself into challenge mode. Or maybe it is a challenge to get you to show me any kind of passion. Where's the passion? Where's the pa I just where's the passion? You have a partial loss going on over here, a partial uh, separation. I'm telling you, some of you are dealing with Scorpio. Um, 
there is a partial separation over here and it could just be within the relationship itself. Um, whether you're married or not, maybe you're having a real legal separation um, going on over here. But however it is, it feels like you guys have been together long enough. For a lot of you, this is a long commitment. You could be married. The passion is gone. And it pretty much feels like you're not going to overwhelm me anymore. Um, I'm just... Yeah, over here in the mental conflict. Yeah, moving past the mental conflict, I'm not going to allow you to play these head games with me. Um, I, you know, where's the passion? I just keep hearing you guys, where's the passion? I'm going after my Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to work. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Yeah, I'm holding strong to what's mine. Uh, maybe my own mental sanity, my own heart, my own job. I'm holding on to myself fully aware and I am awake enough to see that there is change coming and I I just feel like you are embracing this change like I said when the tower came out first thing I heard was I'm embracing the tower I know change is coming and I'm inspired by this tower because it can finally feel the power coming in it's gonna empower you um, to not have to put up with this anymore um, and yeah, great changes are coming for you, and you can see great changes coming for you. And this is truthful. You might even be going through a divorce, um, like I said, or like I said, legal separation. They're sitting right next to each other. Um, if it's not, it's just truth. Truth is we separated, and I'm more inspired now. Um, it feels like for career move. I'm not worrying about this. I'm going to work. I'm gonna go make my money. Fine and dandy and all. Financial material changes coming up and you feel so empowered and you have the Ace of Pentacles coming up. Yeah. Yep. Financial breakthroughs and hopes and promises coming through with financial changes with the Ace of Pentacles. Better job opportunities coming towards you. you. It's almost like you opened up a floodgate over here, you guys. Where's my passion? You don't want to give me my passion? Fine, I'll take the lead. I'll take the power um, for myself. Hold tight to it, and I'm going to go do things for myself. I'm not worried about you anymore. Yep, juggling two ideas at once, and this juggling is the patience and planning of what you're doing over here. It's not even juggling them. This is juggling your your opportunities with the Ace of Pentacles. Patiently planning things for yourself. Queen of Cups could even have a new love coming in. Somebody who adores you and sees you for who you are. And wants to show you the emotional compassion and passion that you were looking for in the old relationship. And if not, you're juggling your emotions. Setting yourself back to normal areas. You're feeling more emotionally stable. You're perceiving things from a whole different level for yourself, not worried about another person. Okay. No matter what, that's definitely it. Whether you have a new person coming in or not. Beautiful Aries card coming out with the Knight of Wands. Showing yourself your own passion. You know why you can't show me the passion? You don't want to tell me where it is. I'm just going to go be passionate about my money. It's, yeah. Taking on quick action and patiently planning. This action with the Knight of Wands is really showing you putting in the action towards planning. Planning for yourself. No longer involving this other person. They didn't want to do anything with you. They always seem to be doing things for maybe themselves. Maybe holding on to you. Maybe taking advantage of you. However it is, maybe they took advantage of your money. You know, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody, but this is definitely you going towards your dreams or your victory with the Six of Wands. This is more victorious for you in the end. This tower is probably the best destined plan that you've made in a long time, and you probably feel it. Um, I had to get away from you so that I could go be victorious. It feels like maybe they were holding you back. For some of you, were they holding you back um, from doing your dreams from having your dreams uh, were they holding back just for a lot of you it's just love 
and attention. Six of Wands. Yeah, it was just toxic and you had to separate yourself from the toxic so you could go find the passion that you that you wanted. Um, separating from this person could have been dealing with a Capricorn um, is definitely putting you... It's just putting you on a whole different path, you guys, to find something that you are passionate about. It's really opening your eyes over here It's really opening your eyes to see, you know what, how much they've really been holding you back and you've been allowing it, right? And so you're not going to allow this energy anymore. This person um, doesn't have to be a 100% lover. It could be a friend. It could be a dad. It could be anybody. It could be a job. Maybe they were holding you back. Maybe you, you know, you wanted to have a promotion and they wouldn't, they wouldn't give it to you and you know you were worth more. And so you went and found something that you were passionate about where you knew you were going to make more money. It could be anything. But however it is, you have walked into your power and have taken the lead of yourself. Okay. So very nice. And that's exactly, you know, right now is the time to get on this path. It's like the doors are opening. Having this tower always brings in good things. And that's always, towers are not always scary. Sometimes they're highly, highly, um, inspiring and that's what it looks like this tower opened your third eye and made you more aware of new things that you could be doing for yourself or realizing that you can finally go do what you want to do for yourself right oh man the perfect timing this mercury retrograde is the perfect timing for this tower so um for some of you who do feel at this time that it's still chaotic and it's like, why is this happening now? Um, it's because it's the perfect timing. Mercury re retrogrades like to destroy things and bring things up, you know, that are good for you. And then, of course, they also like to bring back past as well. Um, and this one for you is very inspiring change and transition. Um, Mercury retrogrades really like to transition and challenge you, right? Challenge you to the fullest. Get rid of what's no longer needed. Love that. Listen to your intuition. She's coming right underneath the third eye chakra. Love that. And that's going to bring you to this new path. Show you the truth. This, listen to your intuition. All these cards are here showing you the truth. Aries, of what is real. Okay. So all you need to do is take the action. And boom, there you go. Right? There you are. Okay, my friends, and until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.